<laughs> What's up guys? Good afternoon. Hope everybody's doing well. Actually over here at the lockers. These guys, you guys. We do work. Oh, where yes. is Mark? Or Mark? <laughs> Hide it in the box. He's inside the box. Uh, it is, uh, holy cow, been a busy couple of days. I'm doing leaf uh, proposals and contracts, snow contracts, subcontractor contracts, uh, crazy stuff. End of month, we're retooling all the equipment. It has been a crazy day. Uh, we're going to take you guys a little bit here just for the vlog. Uh, kind of a uh, day in the life, just kind of a retool. Um, you guys have been just crushing stuff this whole week, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, no for real. Like, like no. literally making it as stress-free as possible. I told Rob, like, we got LAL coming up here next week. Last week to get your tickets. They end on uh, Monday, the, I think it's 7th, uh, at midnight. So make sure you guys get your ticket for our live event. We got 300 people already pre-sold coming on up. We cannot wait to host you guys. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. But in the meantime, these guys have been retooling the baggers uh, on the mowers, the billy goats, uh, getting all the belts on, uh, built the leaf box here, as you guys Almost can see. Got a belt, Another hour, we'll be all done. <laughs> Putting the billy goat debris loader on, um, snow stakes. Just been a really like transition kind of a week. By the way, uh, the weather, 60 degrees and sunny. This is like the first fall we've had not freezing rain like it was two weeks ago for a quip. Uh, it was 40 degrees and freezing rain and I was like not looking forward to that. All right, so really quick here, I'll show you guys a uh, little uh, what we're working on. Mr. Rob. He's screwing, doing, doing important screwing work. We're trying to get our Mr. Mark, out. are you in here, sir? Oh yeah. How are we doing? That. How are we doing? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. She's solid. She's solid. Well, that's what we said last year too. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Another box of screws later, you know. Um, has it been giving you guys any trouble or issues, or not really? No, not really. No. Cool. No, too bad. All right. A lot of you guys have been asking about this. This is our uh, bracket mount for the Billy Goat. Uh, I've actually had a ton of requests to see this. I did a video last year on our leaf setup, um, but you guys can see we had wine guards do this. It was uh, a couple hundred bucks. I think I paid like 600 bucks for labor and materials, um, but they have angle iron, cross brackets, bolt through the uh, frame of the trailer. Uh, great here for the tube. So the tube just kind of clamps down. We'll show you a you know, finished product here in a second. Uh, the actual debris loader goes on top, which my brother is coming. To help us that's the green debris loader the billy go 18 help all four of us lift it on top of this thing because it does take some muscle you can do it with two guys we tried three is a little bit better four is just easier unless we have like a tractor or a skid steer with a tow strap and a chain right uh i told rob and mark to grab some new two by fours so we had three foot uh planks for those sidewalls we're getting rid of these when doing four footers did you guys find pre-cut four foots we got two by four by eights and then just have them cut in half even better cool yeah. okay uh, and the reason for that is when I first built the box, uh, I started from the top down and since we didn't have that second panel, right, for the sidewalls, it never bolted into this. So the plywood was bolted into this. So any which way, I kind of fixed the problem by double stacking our walls. But now that we have uh, the double stack with the plywood, I wanted four foot shanks in there. I don't know if you guys have anything like that already up. Okay, so there you go. So now it's bracing top to bottom through both planks. That actually looks really good. Dude, thank you. That looks that looks really good. Then that'll uh, stop some of the bowing, make sure the boxes not fall off, keeps it just more rigid. No, actually we have two more yep. uh, pieces. I see you use three on each side. Yeah, we use three on each side. That's okay. What we were gonna say, so you're actually gonna open up the door. Okay. We are thinking about putting one here along the middle of the door since the door has started to bow so much. Oh. Just to give that a little more support. We were thinking of you could do one like tee it and then bring it up in the middle yeah. like tee on the bottom and then up mm -hmm. you know um because i think that would help it from flexing too no, yeah. if you just put one straight up in the middle it might still bow no well, just yeah. an idea no, that, yeah, that's awesome so that's awesome we also got some new screws uh did you already do the hinges well uh the hinges are up there yet. oh okay use... you got some new screws though so we got some new screws for the hinges before we used little uh what were they like little well, quarter inch screws we, so we still do have the little quarter inch screws coming into the plywood part, okay but from the hinge to the actual two by fours yeah using these now and the reason we did that is because we were swinging the door a bunch last year and uh we were losing the hinges sometimes yeah. uh, uh just because it only went in you know centimeter uh into Not the much. <laughs> into the, the the bracket across so deeper screws in is what i would say maybe an inch screw 
versus uh, we had little quarter inch half inch screws. Uh, I got lunch for you guys, by the way. So Ooh, I, you didn't talk, text me if you want a Coke or uh, chips. He said he didn't want to drink. You didn't want to drink? I got a drink anyway, so I got you, bro. That's what we do. Can I give the drinks to one of you guys? Oh, Jimmy John's. All right. I'll be right back. All right, so really quick, we just got the Billy Go back on. We didn't capture the footage because we we're all sweating our butts off trying to load this thing up. I will tell you, loading it with four guys is better than better than three. And here's some profound knowledge: it's better than two. <laughs> um, yeah, Mark's uh, over here tightening all the bolts down. Uh, we'll get an impact. Uh, Mark, you bring the crescent wrench through the top, no, I and then we'll zip it with an impact underneath. Really quick, Adam, my younger brother, you guys have seen him before. Thank you so much for the help. For sure. On your lunch break. Absolutely. Being a good brother. Hey, really quick, how's things going with Branded Bull? It's amazing. The responses have been great. You guys have been reaching out. We're ready to work with a bunch of you guys, and it's going to be awesome. And we're going to see everybody soon. Yeah, we haven't even talked about this yet as a YouTube video. We did one, oh, po one yeah. podcast. Yeah. I didn't even do an, e an email <laughs> newsletter. We didn't even do a YouTube video. And the demand was overwhelming. <laughs> I, so we're, we're kind of pumping the brakes. But anyway, if you guys need a website, we're going to do a separate video later. Uh, real quick plug, though, if people do want to snoop out a little bit, what is it? What's that? The website. Uh, Brandableinc.com. So yeah, we'll talk more about it, but logos, websites, creative design, whatever you guys need for marketing your small business, Yeah, reach out. It's gonna be good. Uh, mention the Brian's code, he'll save you a hundred bucks off. Uh, he's been doing website development, some great stuff. If you guys wanna see our new website, it's brianslm.com. That's my website that I had him built for me. I actually bought one from him because I wanted to support family. Number two, I needed one so we can get more snow work. Anyway, not to give you guys a whole plug, but how many people reached out so far just from uh, the podcast? At least 25 to 30 people. There you go. So wow. if you guys need a website this fall and winter, maybe reach out to them sooner than later. <laughs> but anyway, which way? We'll do another video. You got to get back. You're on lunch break. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. All right. Let's keep it going, guys. All righty, guys. So it's actually Foreman Rob here. We're actually at the uh, storage lockers just finishing up, but uh, got the uh, leaf box all done. Got the net up on top, looking everything's all nice over here. And then, uh, how's it going, Mark? Pretty good, pretty good. Got the uh, Billy Goat all up, running, and I uh, believe she'll turn on. Mark, you wanna see if she's gonna run? Yeah, let's give her a shot. All right, yeah, Awesome. Glad that thing's working out of the storage locker because I don't want to, you know, mess around more today with trying to get that thing to work. But then we uh, got the Toro Multiforce all set up here with our bagger system so we can go uh, start collecting our leaves now. So this gave us a little bit of a problem in the beginning, but we figured everything out. I guess it's all right. <laughs> but uh, here, we'll start this up here for you guys. Yep, so we got everything working. Ended up being a pretty good day, didn't it? All in all? Oh yeah. All right. Well, cool. Well, Brian, if you're seeing this, Leaf Fox, it's done. It's looking pretty. Oh, sun's there. Billy Goat, all done. Working well. Bagger, all set up and should be ready to suck up some leaves. So, I'll leave it back to Brian here for you guys. <laughs> 